flock of camels plod across a desert. Text appears. Camels are adapted to live in deserts, but we tend to forget that deserts can be hot and cold. Caption reads, Natalie Cooper, museum scientist. Camels can live in extreme environments, from boiling heat to freezing temperatures. Their humps are a great adaptation to help them do this. A two-humped camel stands in a snowy, mountainous region. It has snow on its back. Camels don't store water in their humps, instead they store fat. They can use these fat reserves when food is scarce and also to help them regulate their body temperature. Someone hand strips the dead hairs out of a camel's dark brown fur. They also have thick fur, which prevents them from getting sunburned and also helps them keep cool. Some camels also have a thick layer of insulating fur that they shed in the summer months. A camel's cranium with some of its teeth intact is displayed on a brown surface. It's not surprising then that ancient camels have been found as far north as the Arctic Circle, where the ancestors of camels would have had to survive the harsh winters in the snow. A pair of two humped camels stand in the snow. One of them is chewing while the other finds a blade of grass in the snow and starts munching on it. Video credits are displayed on a narrow, semi-opaque black rectangle on the left-hand side. Film, Don J. Brown. Science, Natalie Cooper. Research, Christina Torante. Archive, Shutterstock. Music, Audio Network. Sound effects, Audio Hero. On the right-hand side, the words Natural History Museum are displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright, owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum London.